What's up, everybody? Welcome to the show. This right here is going to be a Delta Force video. They just announced that they're going to be opening up the technical test at 6 p.m. Central tonight for everybody. First come, first serve. I think they'll cap it at some point, I'm sure. That's going to be midnight UTC on the 26th. I got to play it yesterday, and I've been keeping up with this game. And I just want to start off by saying it's more polished. The gameplay feels more smooth. I'm getting better performance than I was the last test by quite a bit and it just feels good to finally have a product this year that's finished or very close to finished no early access bullshit announcements about empty promises and taking people's money and all this stuff and lies and especially with the indie dev space so yeah it's been fun to switch it up have, have a more of a triple a experience and i believe delta force is going to deliver 10 times over They've made some changes to the maps. I've noticed on Zero Dam that we got to play yesterday. The loot is more dynamic and engaging. The cases and boxes can be in different spots and things like that. So you're not doing the same thing over and over, it seems like. And also they move the safes around a little bit. So I feel like the map is a little more balanced where you spawn. You'll always have kind of an equal chance to get to the safes first. So I've been liking the changes so far. Let's talk about bots. They finally announced this and I've been waiting for them to do it because the whole reason for the bots they sold it as the queue times for the first test and trying to keep matchmaking, you know, relatively fast. But they finally came out and said that they have some PvE game modes. That's why they've been training the AI. So it seems like that chapter's closed. I didn't have any bots in my, my games last night. So hopefully that's all concluded and we can move on from the bots. Unless, of course, you want to play the PvE modes. So one of the main things they wanted us to look at during this test was the monetization system, the cosmetics, the marketplace, all that stuff. That being said, guys, I can confirm to you they did tell the truth. There is no pay to win. There's no pay for advantages. There's no pay for gear. There's no pay for rubles or alloys or tokens, whatever they're called, to buy gear. There is none of that. They told the truth. Very happy with that. That's why I'll be playing this game instead of Arena Breakout going forward because Arena Breakout still has not addressed that. I think it's completely silly. That's another topic. But anyway, monetization is going to be strictly cosmetic. That being said, and some people can argue if it's good practice or bad practice, it is the most robust, in-depth system that I've probably ever seen in gaming. It's going to be very confusing when you first look at it. I'm going to make a video on that tomorrow, so make sure you subscribe, turn on notifications, because you're going to need to know this stuff. It is very detailed. So many things you need to look at and try to understand, and I've taken the time to do that. With some help of the brothers from the Caliber Collective, also make sure you join that discord now below and we think we understand it there are so many different systems such as the skins being pristine and wearing and tearing you know getting different rarity skins from mandel bricks that you can resell on a secondary marketplace there's like a bunch of different types of currencies it's very confusing but i believe the video will help you out you know i think league of legends was the first game free to play game that did this type of system I could be wrong on that. I have thousands of hours in that game, but it works. Whether we want to accept it or not, the developers need to make a revenue, and I think this is the best way to do it if you're not going to have a premium game. Your game can have longevity. You can have people designing the skins, designing the different cosmetic systems for the operators and whatnot, to where it gives the game you know, seasonal life. Riot with League of Legends have done an amazing job with that, and in Valorant. And I think we're going to see more of that going forward. Because it's fair. Because it doesn't give you any type of advantage. It lets the people c customize their characters and their guns and all that how they see fit. So the game can be unique to you. So yeah, crazy, in-depth system that, like I said, requires its own video. I'll be doing that tomorrow, so don't miss it. In conclusion, yeah, I think Delta Force Guys is going to make a huge impact on the FPS market. We finally have a lot of polished gameplay, different innovative systems, and a ton of community engagement. Jesus Christ, they've made a a post every single day leading up to early access. We're getting news every day. They said they have multiple seasons of content already produced. They've thought of a lot and they're going to do a lot. So yeah, man, definitely looking forward to Delta Force early access coming out December 5th. And I'm looking to play the rest of this week. If you do play, make sure you join the Discord. Like I said, we'll be running it if we can get into it. But that's all I have for you guys. I will catch you on the next video. Thank you.